appreciate just a simple another realm, we would hear all creation declaring in glory. Now this is crickets. This is crickets. And she's going to explain it here in a second. But you're going to hear what it is. I'll try to explain it real quick. One track is crickets at regular speed. One is slowed down. No instruments are added to this. Okay? They're slowed down so that they're to match the life expectancy of a human being because they usually only live about three months. So they calculated that out, figured out what that needed to be slowed down to, and this is what they heard. All creation is prisoned up. You know who's having the worst time with it? 
<laughs> and this is why. About the time I was beginning back all of my cultural things, things in my heritage, I have a lot of uh, Scot Scottish in my family, but I have Choctaw Indian too, yeah. Native American blood. I was driving down the road one day, and the Lord says to me, Jerry, what do you see in the field over there? And I look over in the field, and I see this field full of cows, right? And I noticed in the, this middle of this field, you got one ready? Okay. Um, I noticed this cow elk, and I knew she'd been growing up there. Marlene and I had been watching her for a long time. Our church was like 32 miles away, so we always drove this route up in Oregon. And here's this cow elk in the middle of all these cows. I go, well, there's that cow, that field full of cows with that elk in the middle. And he goes, good. And I go, okay. Care to clue me in here, Lord? I get a little further down the road, and I hear in, in my heart, I heard the Lord say, who does she think she is? And I'll tell you what, I almost started bawling. Because it dawned on me. She thinks she's a cow. And she grew up with cows. You see, you, you know what holds her in that field? The Lord says to me, he says, would that four-foot fence keep her in that field if she knew her true identity? By this time, I'm like speeding. You know, I've got the speedometer, and I go, oh my gosh, I'm doing 80 miles an hour, and, and, and I see right there by the speedometer the Jabez prayer, and it says, oh Lord, broaden the tip tanks of my dwelling place. And the Lord says to me, as soon as I read that, he says, my people are always asking me to broaden the tip tanks of their dwelling place, but the first thing I have to do is broaden the tip tanks of their minds. Because their minds are what keep them imprisoned. It's their belief about who they are that keeps them from exploring the whole countryside. From becoming the, the thing that I've destined them to be. It's a paper wall that keeps her in that field. She doesn't see anybody else go over the fence, so she's not going to try. One time we started over the fence, I'm right and she stayed right up against it because she was scared. You could tell she was scared. She wouldn't leave the fence. It's like she accidentally got over it, maybe trying to get a piece of grass or something. We have to renew our minds. It's with the renewing of the mind, right? To fulfill the destiny that God has put in our lives. To know who you truly are. I called her Ima because if you asked her who she was, she'd say, I'm a cow. I love puns. My family doesn't. <laughs> but the truth is, she is a cow, but she's a cow elk. She can step over that four foot fence. I hope today, after all this stuff, that you guys have realized who you are. And you're going to push through the paper walls that have kept you imprisoned from your destiny. So anyway, that's pretty much it. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs>